Hi, my name is Sandy Soto. I am an AFL professor at Universidad Técnica de Machala. I am also a coordinator, the coordinator of the LT Innovators uh, Research Group. Uh, LT Innovators is a research group sponsored by Universidad Técnica de Machala. Okay, so in this video, I am going to present a topic enhancing international baccalaureate students speaking ability through oral presentations. The authors of this work are Wendy Moreira, Tomas Fontaines Ruiz, and me, Sandy Soto. Well, let's get started. Okay, so one of the main concerns for the teachers in Ecuadorian context is developing their students' speaking skills um, because by the end of high school, um, students are expected to achieve a B1 level. This requirement is established in the EFL Ecuadorian curriculum and should be uh, complied by all the students enrolled in the secondary um, level of Ecuador, in Ecuador. Okay? So, in the case of the students enrolled in the International Baccalaureate uh, Certification Program, these students, or IB program, these students are, the, are expected to have um, the IB exam, which uh, is an exam that includes uh, the evaluation of the speaking skills among the other skills. Okay? So, but how is the speaking skills of the students evaluated uh, through the IB exam? Uh, the oral production of the students is recorded and then evaluated by two, by two raters. Uh, one of these raters is part of the school where, where the program is offered and the other rater is an external examiner uh, who is also involved in IB programs but not in Ecuador, in other countries. Okay, so um, what have a, a schools or high schools that are offering the IB program um, done in order to comply with this requirement, to help students comply with this requirement is they, they are encouraging students to practice the target language in a meaningful way and they are helping them to develop uh, their speaking skills through oral presentations. Okay, this is the case uh, of the IB program um, of a high school that is located in the coastal region of Ecuador. Okay, that is what this school, this high school is doing for helping their students. So what can we say about oral presentations? Well, oral presentations are commonly adopted by EFL teachers with the purpose of improving language learners' speaking fluency and increasing their confidence at the moment of speaking. So we have different authors that, that have written about oral presentations. For example, Sajkovic uh, explained that this activity provides meaningful opportunities for the students to practice the target language uh, as well as um, use them and engage these students in effective communicative interactions. Okay, so this is what one, uh, one uh, author says about our presentation. Well, so in order to accomplish, well, the objective of this work, of our work, is to analyze, based on, on this situation, we, we have uh, set to analyze international baccalaureate uh, students' perspectives towards how taking part in our presentations influences their uh, speaking skills. To achieve this purpose, uh, we worked, we worked um, um, with uh, students from enrolled in the IB certification program of a high school uh, located in the coastal region of Ecuador. Exactly to be exact, we administer a questionnaire to 41 students, to 41 students out of 43. These students. Um, uh, we had 17 male and 24 female. All these students were enrolled in the IB certification program, as I already mentioned, okay? 27 of these students belong to the second year of the program and 13 to the third, okay? One of the characteristics for choosing the, these uh, participants, uh, or why we chose these participants, is that they had developed oral presentations during the previous school years, okay? So in the case of the students enrolled in the second year, um, they had uh, developed uh, oral presentations in the previous year, when, when they were in the first year of, um, in the international baccalaureate program. Uh, in the case of the students enrolled in the third year, well, they, they previously experienced 
um, the, their participation or development of our presentations during the first and the second years. Okay? Um, every participant had exactly uh, performed between five and six other presentations per school year. Um, students' uh, age ranked, uh, ranked be between 15 and 17 years old. So eight students were 15, 26 were 16, and seven were 17 years old. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the questionnaire that we administer to these participants, okay? The questionnaire um, administered to the participants consisted of uh, 13 items, like your scale, in which the students had to indicate whether the, the 10 aspects of their oral competence had improved. And there were other three items that um, tested or asked about whether three uh, aspects of their oral competence had increased. So we had different grades between a lot, moderately, uh, little, and not at all. Okay? So students had to choose between these options. So to analyze the data that we collected, uh, we conducted a factorial analysis of main components with Barimax rotation system. For doing this, we used SPSS, the SPSF S uh, statistical program version 22.00. Okay, as part of the result, um, we identified four factors. Um, these factors uh, were identified as um, the improvement of students' oral discourse, response processing, vocabulary and grammatical construction, nonverbal interaction, and speaking micro skills. Okay, all these factors made uh, um, explained the 72.16 percent of variance. Okay, so we saw a lot of influence of oral presentations in the improvement of the student's oral discourse. As we can see that this, this factor uh, explains the 29.84% of variance, okay? So in the results, we saw that age and sex showed no impact in the results. The, these, these two factors, or these two conditions, did not have any influence in the result for the students. Okay, so it's time to talk about the conclusions of this work. So, um, seeing from the perspective of the students or analyzing from, um, from the perspective of the students, we could see that uh, the IV students' oral discourse has been highly benefited, um, and this uh, helped, uh, I mean, um, oral presentations uh, helped students reach the goal of the strategy. Let's remember that one. Uh, the, the reason why this strategy was implemented in this high school was because the the authorities or, and the teachers, uh, stakeholders of this um, uh, high school wanted to help them to improve their speaking ability to take the exam. So through the perspective of the students, we have seen that, um, yes, the, the, the students' oral discourse has been highly benefited. So we can say that. The, the, the goal of the strategy has been reached, okay? So also we, we could see that a, a student's ability to respond questions uh, in a faster way um, also improved. That is what they say, that is what they reported. Um, vocabulary and the ability to construct sentence and nonverbal communication as well as other communication macro skills have increased also. So. Based on all these, we can say that it is advisable to implement other presentations to boost language learners' speaking skills. So this um, study was conducted specifically in, in the context of IB certifications programs, but we can also say that oral presentations can be very beneficial, not only in this type of context, but also in context in which students, I mean regular context, so like talking about foreign language settings. So it's not really necessary to be in IB programs in order for the, for the strategy to have a positive effect, but 
this strategy could also have a positive e effect in other in other settings, okay, like the regular teaching settings. So the, it, it can be at the high school level or also at the university level, which will be very advisable to apply and see what happens, what is the results if it is applied at this level. Well, that's all that um, I am reporting here in this video about the study that, that we conducted that was enhancing international baccalaureate students speaking skills through our presentations. So, Universidad Técnica de Machala, ELT Innovators Research Group, and Unidad Educativa Victor Naranjo Piallo, thank you for your attention. And we hope you really enjoy this presentation and that the results of this um, study have been um, well, uh, well received from you. Thank you.